Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You, and welcome to part 25 of my Let's Play of Mon Moose Quest Paradox RPG, Confrontation Chapter. Now we're out to get the orbs. So here at the Snake's Rhyme, the Elf Princess has arrived before us. Sea person run away. Sounds normal to me. So let's go get the red orb from her. But Sony has a very, very bad feeling about this. So you're the hero Luca, right? The princess has been waiting. So come in, come in. Quite the lively party we're having, isn't it? The princess says she's honored to meet you. Um, yeah. Thank you. How about you come out from behind the folding screen and all? I like you very much, she says. Um, I'm honored. So, as testimony to our closeness, please take this. Okay, the red orb. Great, let's get out. Oh. Don't you think this is a little too easy? As well as that, the princess would like to give you this treasure that's been passed down in the village. It's one of the seven legendary swords, numbered amongst the seven legendary swords. Its name is Mugen. Um, hey, we got Mugen. Legendary Swords, that's pretty nice, isn't it? Um, wait. On the other hand, this is this actually kind of bad. Furthermore, to you, her beloved, she would like to give these presents. If you have this item, you can switch to the high class of the Hunter job line. Alright, Hunter Soul. Uh, wait a minute here. Now, furthermore, the Hima would like to give you these other presents. May they help you on your journey. Yeah, this and that, and this and that, and this and that. This is bad. This is definitely bad. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is, without a doubt, too heavy in love for something. Oh, you don't need to worry about it. It's only natural for me to do my utmost for you who lives in my heart. This is bad. This is big time bad. Look at, do that thing you always do when people try to court you. Uh, um, so, we've only just met, so how about we start out as pin, par pin pals? Pin pals? What age did you grow up in? Well, the princess accepts it, and she says, Tonight, I'll write you a letter. And as regards the wedding, she says whether it's at a shrine or a church, she doesn't mind. Luca says, The women that can't read the distance between people are a bother. He says, according to her. Oh, so she can't speak. What is this, this ogre club girl? How barbaric. Gee! So, the meeting with the elf princess continued uneventfully. Hmm, well, anyway, a lot happened, but we got the red orb safely. 
Sonia, are you alright? Taking a high class elf as my opponent, that I was able to fight that well, I'm kind of amazing. Yeah, you've amazed us all. Yeah, she actually took more damage than she thought that she would, too. Well, thanks to the elf princes liking us, they've also set up their merchants, a merchant and a blacksmith here for us. So we can get our hands on some good goods. That'll be a big help. Yeah, a big help. Yeah, I really hope she'll be okay. This one's the smith. It's just more prism equipment. I wonder if maybe she has her own supply of prism stuff. So if we didn't get it in the world tree, she'd be able to make it. Well, probably not. That's not how it works, usually. You know what? I'm just going to warp out. Why to the Mao Castle? Oh, isn't it obvious? So, in the Elf Princess... Now, from the Elf Village, there were dispatched merchants, and there were light and darkness. Holy er, magic stones for sale. Good ones, too. So, naturally, we'd like to get our hands on it. So, let's go to those Elf Village merchants in, in Yamatai and see if we can talk them into providing it for us. Oh, yeah. I warped here. Um, Yamatai. Okay, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm the Merchant Vanilla. We'd like the Great Holy Stones and the Great Darkness Stones that you have for sale. And we'd like to trade for them. Well, the village's merchants can't do this kind of exchange with people who aren't art elves. But we were informed to support you as best we could. How about we do this? Right now in the elf village there's a certain noble who wants a silver dragon statue. Hmm, the Silver Dragon statue would probably be a better way to describe it. So, as I recall, that was something that was taken by Black Alice. A very fine piece of work. Yeah, 500 years ago, Black Alice, in an attack on the village... Well, the, bl the Silver Dragon statue ended up disappearing. So it could be traveling all around the world. And on account of us traveling all around the world, perhaps we'll be able to find it. Hmm. Well, taken by Black Alice and lost. Perhaps if we found it before it was taken, that would be faster. Okay, I guess that's all the hints we get. Oh yes, next one, Sabasa. No, oh, maybe I should l let you know what she's saying. Yeah. Okay, now she will convey us to the inner por most portion of the pyramid for free, if we need it. So, it's you guys again. What business do you have with me? Okay, you want the yellow orb? What circumstances have come about that you want it? We explain. I see. Going to the Mao Castle. In that case, you may take it. In any case, it's of no use to me. Right, yellow orb. Easy. Very well, you may leave. But, come visit from time to time. Hey. Are you lonely in here? Um, that's right. 
The last one is the blue orb in the past. So if we can get our hands on a ship from this village, we can head north to Helgond continent. And then blah blah cave mountain range. Now oh, this is turning into an interesting journey. So there should be a merchant boat that heads out in the outer seas in this village. If we can get them to lend it to us, we should be able to do with something. Unlike the present time where the um, the village chief's manor is here, it's in a different building in the past. Not really far away, but different. So, thanks for cleaning out the Queen's succubus for us. That there was another hero of your caliber aside from Heinrich, we were rather surprised. So, be sure to rest your bones here in the village as much as you like. And if we can do anything for you, well, we ask for a boat. So, you want to take our merchant boat. So, to what purpose would you like to use it? We want to go to Helgon Continent. Oh, so, I can't allow that. That continent is far too dangerous. Even if you were able to defeat the Queen Succubus... Well... Going to the Mao Castle is the same as suicide. As village chief, I cannot give you permission. Oh, how troublesome. What do we do? How about I request it as well, village chief? My, ca my face. You haven't forgotten it, of course. No way! You're... No way! Ah, do not say anything necess unnecessary. All I want is permission to use the boat. Uh, of course. Use it as you please. There, she's given us permission. So, everyone, let's head on to the boat. Hmm. So, in our time... The leader of the succubus village was actually a succubus. And looks like it is in this time period as well. Okay, so this boat is the village's important boat and it can go on to the outer seas. Great. He's received word that we have permission to use it. So, go ahead and have it. So if we head north, it's Helgon Continent. If you pass through the cliffs, then you should find the cave. Now, I'm sure you would like to explore the world in the past here, but that's not an option. Although this does end up being quite the uh, complicated Tartaros. All right, if we get through this cave, then we're in the, well, Helgond proper. Of course, the way there is going to be difficult and the monster is quite strong. Well, it's the cave connecting to the evil continent and all. So we're prepared for it. So let's put our all into it. Oh, this is turning into quite the fun adventure. It's like we're going back and forth between reality and Wonderland. Just what are you planning? Oh, even though you're a Mao, you don't know. Ah, uh, you are, did not just tease Alice. Okay, you're an Alice as well, but still. Hmm, so this is about halfway. It's been a pretty difficult path. So, we still got halfway to go. Well, it's a cave heading towards the Mao Castle. Of course, the path is going to be hard. So, let's continue. <laughs> oh, having adventures is so much fun. You really do seem to be enjoying this from the bottom of your heart. As expected, you are 
incomprehensible. It seems you just don't understand what it means to be a king. I really don't want you to be lecturing me. Well, I don't really want to be lecturing you. Whoops. Oops. Okay, I got the... I think I've got it. Ha! I found it. So, is this the exit to the cave? It was hard and tough to get through this cave, but... Don't forget, the hard part is yet to come. So, this is the Helgond continent. As expected, it's got a creepy feel to it. Ah, uh, the clear air and the stagnant magic power. How nostalgic. I'm tired. Hey, let's rest a bit. Well, there is a shrine just to the east. How about we stop there? Yeah, everybody seems to be tired at their limit. So, let's go to the shrine. There's nothing in here. Seriously. Just a guy. Okay, guy. Ah, I love succubi. No oh, man, this guy this priest has been broken. Let there be light. Okay. So I'm coming, he says. So, it looks like he's been snacked on by some succubi. Well, spiritually he hasn't been eroded too deeply, so if we leave him alone he'll come back to his senses. We hope. But, who would have done this? Uh, who knows? Wait. Don't sneak up on me like that. You guys are the hero from that time. To think you would come to Helgond. So, the one who corrupted this priest here was you guys. So, if you're standing before us again, we're not going to have any mercy on you. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting to tell you which one's saying what. This is Lilith, the older sister. And that's what we want to say. We won't let you go to the Mahol Castle. And Lilith says, We're going to finish you off here. So, let's go. Oh, wait there. In deference to me, why don't you lend us your swords? Mm, your... Why, Black Eye? Oh, don't say that name. That'd be killing my fun. You wouldn't want to ruin my fun now, would you? Uh, don't be absurd. You are, without a doubt, just a magician accompanying the hero. Nothing more. That was Lilith. Hmm, I wonder if Lilith is saying much in this conversation. Okay, since we're here and all, why don't you join me on life in my little game here? So, come along with us. Uh, yes. We will accompany you. That's Lilith again. Lilith. If it's for your sake, we'll go anywhere. So, one character. Uh, two characters, one... Uh, theoretical character. Uh, let's not think too much about it. Is this really alright? Oh, isn't it more fun when there's more people? This is turning into a wonderful journey. Oh, to think we'd be traveling with you. We're so excited. That's Lilith. Let's look forward to it, big sis. And wherever we're going to be ending up. Hmm. So those two were... Oh. Alright, 
The next place we want to go is west, to the town of Renina. In our age it was destroyed, but in this age it should still exist. We don't have any particular use to be there. But before we head for the Mahal Castle, we should prepare there. So, let's head for Remina. That's right, we should be able to get good weapons there. So, let's head west to Remina. So anyway, Lilith and Lilith are supposed to be close advisors to Black Alice. They didn't exactly act like advisors. Alright, so we can see it now. That's Remina Town. It's the only place with things growing around it, on this continent. So, it's really a wonderful fortified town. Although it's called a town, there's a castle too, you know? Well, Remina also has a king. Although it's a rather small, noble family. Although, when our our Remina was destroyed 30 years ago. The entire royal family's bloodline was lost. So from here we need to head northwest to get to the Mao Castle. Of course, that's after we prepare in Remina. Well, we got two orbs and actually we've got a long way to go before we can get our hands on this next one. Furthermore, there are a few things to see in Remina that I'd like to show you. So thanks for watching and next time Remina and then the Mao Castle.